Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Star Wars KOTOR. In the last video we bought a T33H8 droid, but it blew up. You can see it's still kind of here. <laughs> I can turn right off my last video. <laughs> Oh, Here shut up. We must act now before we are overrun. Gonna need this. Don't want to go down there. Another patrol heading down to the lower city. Well, good luck. I heard it's pretty rough down there. There's a big swoop gang going on, you know. You better watch yourself. Those gangs will take a shot at anyone, even us. It's too bad we don't have the manpower just to sweep those slums clean. Like, I really care about the Sith. And again, they are gonna be my army at some point. <laughs> Alright, let's get our combat suit back on. No, oh, great. The Becks and the Black Folkers. <laughs> Becks are nothing but bad. The fodder. The Folkers are strongest. We'll teach you who's strongest. More strangers! Alright, time for you guys to die. That's pathetic. Ooh, what case this did this guy had? <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Weaklings. My character is down. Come on, cars. With even with those two sirs, you miss. You're pathetic, Karth. <sighs> Grenade him. That was rotten luck. I was wondering why he didn't throw it. Ah, crap. Well, it looks like this is the one. <sighs> Thank God for auto saves. Better save it again, real quick. Oh god, do we have really have to go through this again? Just die already. Not good. I'm gonna reason 
and keep some blasters by your side. Oh, the rapid shot. He's coming over here. That's not good. Um, use the med pack. to kill the other guy. Be a stupid bad decision. Throw a grenade at that guy. And throw a grenade at that sure. guy. Double blame me. Now both of them should be weak enough to take down. Let's not get ourselves killed this time. You cannot be serious. Are you serious? Javier's Cantina, the Bounty Office. This is also where the Bounty Office is, that's why I said that. Oh, great. Here's Cattle and Ord. Go away. Do not talk like that. We just want to say hi to the big, bad Bounty Hunter Cattle and Ord. Nah, this isn't Gavor. He's supposed to be tough. This guy's nothing but a runt. One? What does that mean? You be funny, tough guy? You know who we are, Cal? We remember the back forward game. You don't want to get in play with us, tough guy. Me no understand. One, two, why he count? He trying to get how many of us is against him? It's three against one, Kalo. What do you think about those odds? Well, you have something more to say? Mission. I told you to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like Fanta Poodoo. Little girl should not be in bar. This place, this is, this is no place for little girl. If little girl's smart, she run away home now. Who do you call a little girl, tuba face? Little girl needs lesson and manners. Bar, a little help here? 
I need you to rip the legs off some insects. Mission, I'm busy. They just bought my food. Uh, quit complaining. You can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise, so get over here. We no want trouble with Woogie. Our problems with you, little girl. Good girl, lucky she has big friend. Why are you bothering me? Hey, relax, Big P. No need to be rude. Sorry about that. The Wookiees ain't much for conversation, you know? Hey, I don't recognize you, and I know pretty much everyone in the lower city. You must be new down here. I guess that makes me and Big Z your official welcoming committee. Hey, we speak the same language. It's not that strange. Most aliens can speak basic. They just prefer to use their own language. But I grew up here on Terra, so I just sort of got used to speaking the native city. You showed a lot of guts dealing with those Vulkers, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo, and this big Wookiee is my best friend, Zalbar. I offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need, We just kind of fell in together. It ain't easy on your own here in the lower city. Everyone's always looking to push you around. So we noticed. Still, you seem like an odd pair. When I met up with Zalbar, it seemed like a pretty good match. I knew we should look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. I want to ask you some questions. Well, we came to the right person. If you want info on Lower Terrace, I'm the one to talk to. Davik, the Lower City Gang, I even got a scoop on that bounty hunter, Callow Nord. Tell me about Davik. Davik's part of the Intergalactic Crime Team, but I guess everyone knows that. But I hear he's got a new ship for his smuggling operation, the Ebon Hawk. I don't know much about space travel, but I hear that ship's fast enough to break the skin blockade. Of course, this is all just secondhand rumor. Where would he keep it, do you know? If Davik does have a ship, he's got it locked up in his estate. Nobody gets in there. Except the people working for Davis and the exchange. Tell me about the Lower City Gangs. There's only two gangs worth worrying about here in the Lower City. The Black Volkers and the Hidden Bex. Sometimes Zalbar and I hang out at the Bex base. The Bex are led by Gavin Beck. He's a good guy. He lost his sight in a swoop bike accident a few years ago, but even blind, he's a great leader. Not like that traitor Breshik. Before he took over the Volkers, he was a Hidden Bex. Gadden considers that ungrateful space bug his adopted son. Why did Bredrick leave the hidden Bex? When Gadden went blind, everyone figured he'd step down and appoint Bredrick in his place. But Gadden figured Bredrick wasn't ready yet. He wanted him to wait a few years. But Bredrick was too impatient. He left to join the Volkers, and ever since, he's been waging a war to wipe Gadden and his Bex from the face of Terrace. This gang war in the lower city is totally the Volkers' fault. They're the ones killing everything they've gone insane. Tell me about Kalanord. Kalanord's one of the most famous bounty hunters in the galaxy. He killed more people than the Iridium Plague. I've seen him kill people just for trying to talk to him. Yeah, we he saw that. around Zack's bounty office, but I don't think he's looking for work there. All the persons there are small time. Way beneath the bounty hunter of his time. I figure Cal has been hired by Dad to do a special job for the exchange. I'd wager a thousand credits that as soon as the quarantine ends, we'll be getting off this rock. I'll be going now. You going? Yeah, this dive is pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z, let's go. But I haven't finished eating. Can't you think about something besides your stomach for five minutes? Come on. We'll go see if there's anything good to eat at the back base. <sighs> Galloway Carth. Alright, nothing there, just for me here. Ah, the bounty office. Zax. I've not seen you here before, Lewin. You're new to the bounty office, yes? My name is Zax. I'm the one in charge here. He looks like Jabba. I'm not going to be 
Are you looking for looking for work? There are many bonds available here, legal and otherwise, but they all pay quite well. Or here for information. Everyone knows on one back at Stavik's best agency. On the hook with all the answers. Going to shut this video about the Rock Cool Serum. Yeah, the Rock Cool Serum is worth a thousand kids. Why does Devik want to see him so badly? This is big business. If people are sick with the right consumer disease, they need the cure. Devik can charge anything he wants, and people will still pay. I don't know. You find the serum, you come see me. Derek wants the serum, and I'll pay good money to get it for him. The same price as the for the bounties. Hmm, tell me about the bounties. There are two government contracts. One is assassin named Slevin, and the other is Benedict Starkey. He's a famous deathmatch douche. Between them, they kill hundreds of people. I can't see anything wrong with getting rid of people like that, as long as we don't end up on the list of your victims. But not all bounties are dangerous. Devik got some special contracts. One's for a girl named Dia, she attacked Holden while Davik's men, and the other one's for a man named Larga, who owes Davik money. Okay, I don't know about Davik's special contracts. Justice is one thing, but doing a crime lord's dirty work is something else. And then there's Matrix. He used to work for Davik. Then he betrayed the exchange, and now Davik wants him dead. I'll put all this information in your data bag. Right, let's go. Cool. I, I already have some bounty hunters. Bounties. A bounty? Well, Helen, that is what I'm here for. Which bounty are you here to collect on? Too bad. Dia was a nice girl, but she attacked Holland. The woman works for the Davik. That was just stupid. Here, 300 credits. That's the price for all bounties. Thanks. Pleasure doing business with you. You do good work, human. There's a lot of bounty hunters on Taurus, but most are lazy. Maybe keep crashing them. Bounties that work hard. I got a bounty I want to collect on. A bounty? Well, you win. That is what I'm here for. Which bounty are you here to collect on? Lager should have known better than to run. Maybe now we will learn the lesson. You owe Davik money? You pay! Here, 300 credits. That's the price for all bounties. Thanks. Pleasure doing business with you. You do good work, human. There's a lot of bounty hunters on terrorists, but most are lazy. Maybe you keep on cashing in at least they'll work harder.
I'll be going now. Goodbye, human. You come back when you want to learn what to earn credits. Bunnies pay good money. And remember to come and see me if you want information. Sweet. Ooh. Look more evil already. Alright. What should I up? Let's up the charisma. Skills. Let's give at once security, one to stealth. Except, can dodge one and pop level two. Hmm, I could those could be useful. I'm looking evil already. It for this area for now. There's the hidden Bex. Go ahead and try to get in. Hey, you can't just walk in here. This is the hidden back base. How do I know you're not a Falcon spy sent to kill Gad on set? Me, Gannon's. I was told to go to speak to him. A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadden. He's a hero of the common folk. But the days of the Hidden Beck's open-door policy are gone. Between the Sith conquest and the Barker Gang War, Gadden has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. Maybe it could be an ally against all those enemies. Well, we do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you're with the Vulcans or the Sith. Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gadden in the heart of his own base. Not with Deirdre watching his back. So, are you gonna let me in? Go in and speak to Gadden if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The hidden Vex are watching you. I guess that's why they call him the hidden Vex. They're watching me the whole time because they're hidden. Eh? Eh? I hope you guys got that. And there's Ganon. A Ganon. I call him Ganon. Like Ganondorf. Hold it right there. Who are you? And what is your business with Gad? Calm down, Zandra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadon. Frederick and his Vulcars want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on site, Zerdra? Like the Vulcars do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadon if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything, and you'll be vaporized before you can say Vulcar spy. She's kind of rude. You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Brezhik and the Vulcars began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. The problems with the enough have time. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the upper city about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this off-worlder has his own agenda. Don't worry, I'm not working for the Sith. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas, and that's okay in my book. The Vulcas stripped those pots clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcas found. Female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Bex don't believe in intergalactic slavery, but the Vulcans aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. I have to get in there and rescue her. Normally, the Vulcans would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Dobbin, for an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcan base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the vulgar scum at the base. 
Rezik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. There has to be some way I can help her. I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Rezik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Volker's share of the prize in the annual swoop gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila then? Well, we can't fight all the gangs. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the swoop race. Kenan, can you help me with this? I might be able to help you with this. If you'd be willing to help us, we both have something to gain here. And much to lose. What are you proposing? The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hidden Vex this year. If you win the race, you will win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulkers stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. Getting into the Vulcan base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Vale. Mission? Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Missions explore every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the Undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcan base, it's her. Where can I find Mission? She and her Wookiee friend Salva are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the Undercity, despite the dangers. Your best bet is to look for her in the Undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith guard post at the elevator. Some Sith uniforms to disguise myself. A simple disguise might have worked on the upper city guard. But the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers to get past it. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anywhere. What are you going to do with the Sith uniforms? I like to be prepared. Eventually, the Sith are going to try to drive us out of the Undercity. Sith disguises might give my people the edge we need in a crucial battle. Okay, I'll trade you uniforms for the people. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? I I'll be back when I get the bros. Like the swoop race is coming up, and we want you to have time to practice before the race. So, let's see. Pick up cards real quick. Okay, there I think that's on my I sure. already turn yellow on the game. Never mind then. <laughs> so time left. More black folders cannot be serious. First things first. Boom. Die. You asked for this. You guys are pathetic and weak. And they have nothing on them. Uh oh. You guys are behind with your face. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? God, I, I don't see Davik doing anything for his share. We do all the work. Davik claims he's part of the exchange, so let's see him prove it. Yeah, let's see the big crime lord come and get his money for the Black Folkers. So you want to play this the hard way? <laughs> okay. And there's Candrus. 
Oh, hey, Kendris. We don't know you's working for Davik now. Yeah, we were just goofing around here. We don't want no trouble with the Mandalorian. Here's Davik's Devis cut. Okay, them black fuckers are called weak ways. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Every now and then, Candrus. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. Alright, let's speak to Candrus. Those Valkers are dumber than a chorus and granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden Vex in line, but Brezik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. Who are you? I'm someone you don't want to get on the bad side of. And I'm not one for small talk. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working on a special assignment. Alright. We're apparently going where he's going. Here's Cal Nord again. You seem to be taking great interest in our progress. Do you need something, little man? Quiet, Lou Gargo. That's Cal Nord, the infamous bounty hunter. Lugro. Here's a bounty on your little green heads. I'm here to collect. The only way you collect that bounty is over a cold, dead body. That's the plan. <laughs> they did not even have time to defend themselves. Wait a minute. Did I? Wait a minute, I don't need that primitive down there. I'm gonna collect Largo's bounty. Oh, I can just sell it sell it back to Yeah. Or I don't know. I don't know if I can use it all. So the next chance again I'm gonna sell it again. I don't need that pre detonator. Because I'm gonna kill Largo. Wait, I just, no, I'm gonna just Matrix. I already killed Largo. <sighs> you guys are weak and thick. Oh. Okay, I guess we'll speak to. We'll speak to them in the next video. That's all the time we have for today, anyways. So, I'll save it real quick. Yeah, that way we have to go through all that again. Alright. Alright. Well, please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Alright, I guess that's all we'll have time for today. Look, there's men out there. <laughs> please, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Please subscribe, I really appreciate it. And, it was, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye!